I am further checking out the Ravens' calls or pass game concepts inside the red zone, specifically the high red zone. By that, I mean somewhere between the 10 and the 20-yard line. This is a third and six call. This puts me in the mind uh, of a West Coast offense uh, concept called Hank. It isn't that precisely, but basically what you see are two flat routes here, um, two 12-yard curls. We're not going to get too precious about it, but if this were uh, that Hank concept in its purest sense, you would have Mark running an over-the-ball sit or somebody running an over-the-ball sit here. So you'd have two 12-yard curl, uh, two flat routes, and and that over-the-ball sit. You can see Mark is deep here. And like I said, I don't want to get too precious about it. These are basically runoffs. And as the play progresses, <laughs> he doesn't exactly do a 12-yard curl here. How the Ravens get Marquise to, to that sort of de facto 12-yard curl is interesting. They really bend him underneath and around these linebackers. And I would say that each of these three are basically runoffs. And the purpose of these routes, really, I do believe Mark's probably reading Mark downfield. You can see he might have a shot at squeezing this football in, but it's a tight, tight window throw. As we see this defender drive just a little bit, you can see there is a tight window here. It's just, an, just, it's just a question of when that window opens up and when the football comes out. This is a zone beater concept. You're, you're trying to stretch, particularly the defenders underneath horizontally. You can see with these two flat routes, they do that. Quarterback does not find Ricard here, but I really like this concept in a general sense. Uh, I, I like what the quarterback does here, and it's third and sixth. And it's a big deal. Again, we're watching in the red zone to see what the Ravens can do, what Roman's drawing up. I would ask us to note as well how effective Pat Ricard is in this role. Gets both hands inside the defensive end's chest, stops his feet. This is a bit more than just a chip. And you can see it gets this linebacker to continue dropping, get his eyes away from that flat. So this concept is designed, again, to beat this zone coverage, uh, keep this drive going. I think the quarterback does a great job. He, he doesn't see the, the open receiver in, in the, the flat uh, to the field, but he's reading Andrews in the middle of the field. He's reading those defenders. Quick decision, gets the ball down. Good run after catch, and the drive continues. Watch it again. This is a, a first and 10 call out of 11 personnel. The single receiver, Marquise in this case, is going to orbit beyond the quarterback. This play is, uh, to me, is clearly set up for that flat route. It's a bit Chiefs-like in its design. You can see he's being uh, trailed or man everywhere he goes by that corner for the Chiefs. You see kind of a half-hearted pump fake. You also see off the ball, the outside receiver to that side set up to block as if there's a bubble to be made. Marquis slows the route as if he's giving up on it. And then he's going to slash inside. This is intentional. This is designed to lull that cornerback to sleep. Maybe this is a case of the offense becoming too clever for its own good. It's a good concept. Probably works great uh, if the protection holds up. We say that a lot. Uh, but I do believe the quarterback does not even look at the curl that um, that Andrews runs. We, we don't say that often. Andrews is wide open on this curl on first, first and 10. I think there's room for the quarterback to step into this throw right here and hit the slant. He pulls the ball down, and then that's, that's a poor throw. I'm not sure how much of that is caused by pressure. We'll look at the other side. I don't believe he even looks at Mark Andrews here. We'll see. There's the orbit, kind of a half-hearted play action, half-hearted fake. Almost gets rid of the ball. I don't think he thinks he can fit this in. You can see the left tackle being driven a bit backward. I just don't like the footwork. I don't like the release there by the quarterback at all. I think he's got room to move in the pocket. I'll explain to you what I'm seeing in terms of the quarterback's footwork. Uh, and this may be part of the disguise, but this extra shuffle that he does with his outside foot here as he opens up to the flat, to me, is wasted motion. It also keeps him from getting his eyes around and perhaps being able to see the curl that Mark's run. The throw ends up being very rushed, very poor. 
I think as a result of the Ravens having all their eggs in one basket, that's nice seeing Lamar helping up. I think that's Bozeman. This is a very nice concept. I guess technically they're just outside of the red zone, but we'll let it play. Second and 14. I think this is a very quick read by the quarterback. It's a confirmation of the coverage they expected. This definitely has some properties of Tampa 2. I'll call it that. This uh, hook player is going to play the deep middle. And then you get your strong and your weak safeties playing halves here. I think this plays out perfectly for the Ravens. This outside vertical takes the corner away from the flat. Uh, this seam route by Oliver holds the strong apex. Mark is running this crossing route. Um, this could be a read, but he's going to sit it down right here on the hash, uh, kind of replacing the feet of that strong apex who goes to the flat. Lamar reads that this, this strong apex is late to the flat, and he gets that ball out quickly. I think we see Mark come open late, but this is perfect. He hits the first guy who's open for a big gain. In terms of the concepts here, really at the high end of the uh, high red zone here at the 20, once again, this is a third down conversion. Uh, the, the boundary side receivers, one of them's a tailback. I'm going to run a smash concept. Uh, and then you're going to see a, a scissors variation here. I think with Duvernay and Andrews, I think a lot of this is the way that Detroit decides they want to cover Mark Andrews. He is a walking, talking constraint. <laughs> waiting to happen and I think the Ravens ought to exploit that as much as they can this year how uh, significant he is to uh, defenses uh, particularly on third down that is a very very quick read by the quarterback all arm in his throw there gets the ball out quickly very quick release great catch by DuVernay a nice call that works out because Detroit is really selling out to stop Andrews on third down uh, and the quarterback sees that immediately and puts it on the receiver.